Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence, and you are going to be you want to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 11, Nasdaq up 3, 14, S&P's up 1, gold, gold contract down $12.40, trading at 1986 an ounce. We have silver down 13 cents, $23.15 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 58 cents. $81.90 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 23 ticks, trading 107.20. 30-year full point plus four ticks at 112.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 204 ticks, trading 105.225. Euro at 107, yen at 149, British pound at 123 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you know, last week, folks, market bottom on goes top side, takes a huge amount of energy. And what you can see out here today, you know, bottom line is that when you, when the SPY goes from a price point of, uh, in this particular case, what, we went from uh, 409 uh, up to 435 uh, in, in six days. So you can expect that you're going to be building cars. That's what we're doing. We're going to this is a sideways move, 45. You're up 31 cents, but this is really an inside day. So it's 47 million shares. And I expect we're going to be building cars for a bit in order to basically, you know, get into the, you know, higher levels up here. That's most times when you get an acceleration like this, you know, the bottom line is you got to build cars. Building cars is going sideways, pulling back with light volume, getting ready for the next leg up. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Same type of setup inside the queues. They're, they're both higher, but slightly. They're, re they're really sideways moves. Uh, the queues uh, up 71 cents. The queues did go over as high today, but bottom line, still a sideways move. 30, 30 million shares traded. Uh, now, the queues are, no doubt, much stronger than the SPY, so the queues are at a much higher level. We go into the notes and bonds, and this, this is the number, man. Notes and bonds are the number. So what you're looking at here, you get the 10-year right now, we are yielding 4.65 and 4 point, well, it was actually 5.02, which, which was the high. Out here today, you're pulling back. You're pulling back with light volume. So we're pulling back 23 ticks. You got 1.4 million contracts traded. And if we take a look at this, you know, this thing can get, get right down again to the uh, 106.18. That would be, that'd be a normal pullback. Coming off, a, coming off a low. You know, you, you come off, you get the sign of strength, you pull back to where, the, you know, basically you built out a bottom. Now, what's intriguing about the 10-year also, folks, is that the 10-year the had the highest shot position since 2006 last week. And they had piled, the funds had piled into this like beyond belief. And that's exactly what you need for large turns in the marketplace. The bottom line is it blows my mind that they actually piled in at lows, but I've found that, yeah, professionals, I don't get it, man. You know, they, they have a stock that's trading 100. All of a sudden, it gets down to 30, and they're piling in on the short side. Well, and it is what it is, but that stat, that's, a, you know, 2006 to today. So there's going to be a lot of short covering, number one. There probably has been a lot of short covering, but there's going to be a lot more short covering. Um, notes and bonds want higher price. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. What do you have with gold? This, this is big bottom line. You can sideways move again. You're down uh, 12 bucks. But you can see that you're 1.3 million contracts out here. We're in the same area. Now, the cool thing about gold is this. Gold is Friday. You're pushing this higher swing, and you're pushing it with volume. So when you're pushing the higher swing, either up or down, well, up would be a higher swing, down would be a lower swing. And you start pushing with volume, the probability is going to blow right by it. So we'll see how this shakes out. But right now you've got 1.3 million contracts. That's going into basically, yeah, that's going into 
2.6 million contracts, okay? So we're still consolidating out here, trying to get up and over this, uh, you know, 2018. My take is that we're going to go to 2129 on the move that we're talking about right now. We get it to uh, King Dollar. King Dollar's the number, man. You know, you get the interest rate structure. So, you know, when interest rates go down, bottom line, we'll make currencies in whatever country you're dealing with uh, weaker. So we have with King Dollar is, you know, you're up 220 today, which is no big deal. But, you know, you rejected lower price at 104,684. My take is that we're going to get down first to this 104,699. And what that is, that's where we broke out from. You know, it took us, you know, a couple, couple weeks of trading, up, down, all around. So today you did reject this uh, 104,899. Uh, so most times when you see that, you can see we broke that consolidation with conviction on Friday. So that would say the dollar can pop up to like the 106,599. That's, and that's, that was the bottom of the consolidation. So you can pop up there, probably set up another ABC structure on the way down. We'll see how, we'll see how the whole thing shakes out. But uh, silver, we're going to take a look at the silver market out here. Silver also, you know, last Friday we got a nice sign of strength inside the silver market. And today you're pulling back with light volume. So we take a look at this. Silver right now, you're back 14 cents. And you're going to see, you know, Friday we go higher with uh, 100, no, 78,000 contracts. And today you're backing down with 49. That's, that's a nice setup. That's, that's a setup that wants higher price. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And we have, you got Tesla is down a buck. Nothing's really moving. Well, Apple's, at, well, let's talk about Apple for a second because this is, this is amazing. You know, Apple, you know, come out with their numbers. And, you know, as I said last week, if any other equity had four losing quarters, meaning in growth, which Apple did, this, the stock would get killed. Not Apple, though. <laughs> Bottom line is that, it's taking out a swing point today. It has lighter volume on the swing point, but guess what? Apple's Apple, and people are looking forward on Apple, seeing how many i15s that uh, Apple can sell. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.